Let's see an example. Here I have a particular relation. And normally we've used the symbol R for a relation, but in this case I'm going to use the symbol C. And this is because it is going to be a very famous relation. It's going to be the circle relation. We'll see why it's a circle relation in a moment. So I have this relation and it has the defining property that it is a relation if it has this property that x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. So x is related to y if x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Now, here's why I called it a circle relation. This equation, x squared plus y squared equals 1, is the equation of a circle. In fact, that's what it looks like. There's my x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And it represents the set of points along the circle of radius 1 centered at the origin. And we could do a little bit of trigonometry to show that that was the case if we wanted to. But it's not particularly important for our course. Now, this set of points that we have, well, it's a set of points inside of the Cartesian plane. It is some subset of R cross R. It is a subset, and therefore, it is going to be a relation because our definition of a relation was that it was a subset of the Cartesian product. And indeed, this circle is that. So for sure it's going to be a relation, and my claim, consider the relation, was indeed valid. But now the question is, is this a function? Now, to verify that this is a function, we have to do two different things. One was saying that there is going to be some output for every single input. And then the second was saying that there's only one output for every single input. Now, the first thing that I might note is that if x is equal to like 100, there, there is no output. So it sort of fails on that first point. But the first point is the less interesting of the two, because perhaps I could choose that my set of input values was not the entire real line. It was just some subset. So how about this? I have this, is this a function? And I'm going to make a qualification. Is this a function from? And then I'm going to write this interval minus 1 to 1. That's my, with my square brackets, this is my interval notation. So this is the set of all points between minus 1 and 1, including the endpoints. Is it a function from this uh, back to the minus 1, 1 again? So if I have my two different considerations to whether it's a function, the first of them is true. For every single input that I can imagine, how about like this x value, then there's going to be an output. So it is true that for every input, it is going to have an output, at least if I sort of make what we'll refer to as a restriction on the domain, where I'm saying this is a function from these intervals, not a function from the entire real numbers. But the more interesting point, the point that, that really matters for a function is the second. It's this vertical line test. And I can note that if I try to draw a vertical line here, that there's two of these different intersection points, and so it fails this condition. So let's try to see if we can write this down in an appropriate way. I'm going to note that this parry, how about this? 0, 1. So 0, 1 is x equal to 0, y equal to 1. That's that point up there. Well, this is inside of my relations. This is inside of my circle for sure. But I also have that 0 minus 1 is inside of my circle. Both of these things are going to be true. So there's my 0, 1, and there's my 0 minus 1. So both of these points are there. It fails the vertical line test, and so it is not a function. So this is an example of something that is a relation, but not a function because of its failing of that second property that there is more than one output associated to this single input. Now maybe the final thing that we could do here is we could correct this by not considering the entire circle. I could get rid of this portion down here. So this is a different thing. It's no longer the circle relation. It's the circle relation with the additional condition that I'm only taking positive values of y. But then it is fixed the problem. Now this does satisfy the vertical line test and would be a function.
So sometimes you can massage things. What you're given is not a function, but if you make some restrictions, in this case I would restrict to y being positive, then I recover that it is indeed a function.